please. Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out where we can find three different ribbons in Final Fantasy 15. The ribbon in the Final Fantasy games have pretty much had the same um, use throughout all of the games, or at least most of them, and that use has been to prevent us from getting any sort of status condition. So the first one I'm going to show you is probably the simplest one out of the three, but at the same time it is probably the most difficult to obtain. The reason I say this is because we have to defeat a very powerful hunt. Um, all we need to do is come up here to Lestalum and talk to this NPC right here I'm showing you now on screen and accept the hunt called Dead General Strikes Down the King. It's a level 99 hunt, but you notice down here where it says rewards, we will be given one ribbon. So we just need to accept that and as usual head off to the area that it shows us on the map. Once we get there, we'll realize there's a level 110 samurai enemy. These guys, you may have noticed by now, are really powerful even when they're not on level 110. So this one is a real hard piece of work. It's one of the most difficult enemies I've encountered so far in the game, really, and I've played like over 100 hours. So I would definitely come prepared with a lot of Phoenix Downs, a lot of Elixirs and stuff, as many as you can really, even if you are max level. So once we do finally defeat them anyway, we can head back to the NPC and obtain our first ribbon. The second one I'm going to show you is a little bit more long-winded, but it's nowhere near as difficult as this one. Um, we need to complete all of Sanya's side quests. That's a total of eight side quests given to us by her, but some of them are pretty much instant as over the game we've picked up a lot of the items we'll need to hand in. Um, I'm not going to make an in-depth guide of each one of her side quests, but I will quickly show you on the map where each one of them are. So the first one can be accessed anywhere after Chapter 3. It's going to be called The Professor's Prodigy. To activate this, we need to talk to Sanya for the first time in Cornick Station, Alster. You get here and she asks you to find five red frogs, so we find those, go back, talk to her, that will complete the first side quest. The second time we're going to find her is going to be in Carthur's Rest Area. I will quickly be showing you on the map each one of these areas so you can know exactly where to find her. Like I said, I won't be showing you where to find each one of the frogs. As it's pretty simple, it does mark it off on the map. So the second time, she'll ask you to find five yellow frogs in a different area. Again, pretty simple. There's even guides out there, like on YouTube, where to find each one of the frogs. The third time you'll find her is actually going to be in Old Lestalum. So for this time, you don't have to find any more frogs, don't worry. All you need to do is give in some slimy oil. These are rewarded to us every time we kill one of these giant toads, which I'm sure you've obtained one by now at this point in the game. If not, just head around anywhere around the area where she gives you the side quest when it's raining, and you should have no problem finding one. So once we've done that, the next time we're going to find her is going to be in Vernian's Mart in just before we get to the Rabatoth Mountain. Again, I'll show you on map in case I'm pronouncing that terribly, which I am. Maybe. This time I'm just going to ask us to get another item that's extremely easy to find, and we've probably already got one at this point. If we don't, we can even go to the NPC right next to where she's standing in the same little stop, and accept the side quest I'm showing you on here, which will spawn a big group of the enemy we need to kill to obtain that item. To do her sixth side quest, we do need to have made it past chapter 8 to have access to the Hunter's HQ up here in the north side of the map. So up here, once we talk to her, she's going to send us off into one of the dungeons we have most probably visited by now if you have completed the game, and we need to find three fireflies. Once we do progress through this dungeon a tiny little bit, we'll get to this open area which a lot of you will probably recognize because it's just before where we pick up one of the royal arms which is the shuriken weapon so anyway here you notice there are three fireflies which you can pick up they're not even hidden you can see them at plain sight and anyway once you pick those up head back up to the hq hand them in and that will complete the sixth one of her side quest the seventh one is going to be back down at cornix station carthus once we talk to her here she's actually going to ask us for a griffin claw or a griffin feather i can't remember i think it was a feather Again, we've probably already got one of these by now. If not, there's various locations. There's even like some side quest in Lestalum, which will allow us to fight a griffin and get one of these almost guaranteed drop. So again, once we've done that, head back down, talk to her again. And the eighth and final one of her side quest is going to be all the way back up at the Hunters HQ one final time. This time, she's going to ask us to find five rainbow frogs. What makes this one so difficult is that she doesn't show us on the map the location where to find each one. And unfortunately for us, each one is at a completely different end of the map. A bit of self-promo here, I do have a video showing the location of each one of the five rainbow frogs, which I'll leave on screen here in case you want to check that out to easily find the frogs. It's very short, I made it as simple as possible. So once we have done that, we head back up to the Hunters HQ one final time and we will finally be given our ribbon as a reward and say goodbye to all of her side quests. So now we have two ribbons, one to go. The third and final one I'm going to be showing you today is actually up here in Altissia. We want to come to this um, gondola stop where I'm showing you here on screen where the cafeteria is and come around here to the innermost table and you notice there's an NPC, I think it was called Alessio if I'm not mistaken. This is the NPC that allows us to trade our ascension coins for rewards. And the final reward for 40 ascension coins is going to be another ribbon. Unfortunately, me being a bit of an idiot and making some very bad choices early on in the game, I don't have 40 left. But these can be found, there's even guides on how to farm ascension coins. If you go into the Pityos um, final dungeon, I believe 
there's a lot of them laying around. So hopefully you shouldn't have too much trouble finding those. And that is where we can get our third ribbon. So I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more Final Fantasy 15 content. And we'll see you next time.